three easy technique tips that'll start getting your drumming sounding a lot better, a lot faster. Number one, it's all about fulcrum. You hear a lot of people say fulcrum this, fulcrum that. The fulcrum I wanna talk about is a three part fulcrum. It's gonna be your thumbprint, your first finger, maybe around this digit-ish, and then your middle finger around this digit. So instead of having only the front fulcrum, you wanna have this three point fulcrum. One, two, three. And by doing that, you distribute the balance points a little bit more on the drumstick. If you're too front fulcrum heavy, then you can't control the stick as well and you overcompensate by trying to squeeze a little harder. Whereas it, it seems counterintuitive, but if you put that one more finger on, then you, you share the load, right? As Samwise Gamgee tried to say to Frodo. I could carry it. I could carry it. Share the load. The load. The load. Share the load. So, it's a boom, 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 and that helps you share the load of the stick, and it makes your it forces your hand to relax. Second easy tip for your drumming and a simple mistake you might be making is just being too tense. Shoulders hiked, arms raised. Little T-Rex arms maybe, right? You don't want, you want to be playing drums the way that you normally walk and stand through the world. Chances are your arms drape naturally to your side. Wherever your elbow falls against your body, that's where you want your elbow to be. So you don't want it to be hiked up anymore. You don't want it to be pushed further back, okay? You want it to be, if you're walking through, blah, 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 going to school, blah, 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 walking around, buying some coffee, your arm's gonna be right here, okay, naturally. So you wanna drum from there. Then you place the stick in your hand and you have this natural, not quite parallel, certainly not above parallel, and not too far below par parallel. Of course, you have to set your drums up to fit to that angle, but it's not about where your drums are, it's about where your body is, okay? So I'm so I'm very tall and I have, I have really long, lanky arms, so my drums are gonna be set up way differently than somebody who's a lot shorter or has shorter arms. This is something that is super harped upon in drumline culture, in marching band, um, that I never made, I just never like translated over to drum set. And this is what I'm talking about, how snare drummers need to be playing drum set and drum set players need to be playing snare drum. Because once I kind of made that connection of like, oh my God, I put so much effort into making sure my marching snare drum harness was perfectly set up and where does that make my hands and where does that make my arm? And, the perfect angle of everything ergonomically, why not do that for the drum set? So you gotta make sure you're setting your drums up right for your body. And the answer to what that setup is, is where your arms naturally fall based off your, your body type. And then the third simple tip that's gonna really help your drumming is make sure you're using your wrist. You can use a little bit of finger, make sure it's from your wrist, nice and relaxed. A lot of beginners will start playing from their elbow. I even wanna be using too much arm, because what that does is it, the, the simple fact of this is a huge limb and it can't move as fast as the wrist. And then the reason I don't go one step further and say, well, because fingers can move way faster than the wrist, 
I like keeping it with the wrist because you have the speed plus the control. With fingers, I, I feel like you lose a lot of clarity and a lot of uh, kind of the fat sound that, you, that I like from drums, and I get that with my wrist. And then with your wrist is attached your arm. So if your wrist is moving, your arm is moving. Boom, 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 boom. So make sure you use that wrist. So to review, three simple tips that'll really help your drumming. That three-point fulcrum, boom, boom, boom. Let your arms naturally fall to where they naturally fall and drum from there. Make sure your drum set is set up to fit that. And then use wrist instead of elbow or shoulder. And if you wanna use fingers, you can use fingers. <laughs>